Hi guys. So I'm a little bit sick today, so I'm going to apologize my voice is a little bit on the scratchy side. But this week I finally got my package from e.l.f. And in the haul I got the e.l.f. stipple brush. And I just wanted to do a extensive review and comparison of this brush compared to my MAC 187 that I got in a blog sale. So first off I'm going to talk about the brushes themselves, the um, actual fibers of the brushes. I guess very honestly um, these are not dupes. So the e.l.f. stipple brush is in no way a dupe for the MAC 187. That doesn't mean that this isn't a good brush because I've actually been really, really loving this brush ever since I've gotten it. But <clears throat> if you guys can tell with this brush, the middle portion of the brush, the white section, are all made up of very long white fibers. And then on the edges or the perimeter of the brush are all these shorter black colored fibers and that's why this is called a dual fiber brush because they're of two different colors and two different lengths that make up the stipple brush. Um, also the brush itself is so dense compared to the elf one. The elf one is, I mean, the e.l.f. one has around, I would say, maybe one half, one third of the amount of um, fibers that are in this brush, and it's a lot floppier because of that. It's not dense, and it doesn't really um, pack on as much when you are using it. Having said that, though, I feel like I like this brush a lot more and this is why I don't like the whole cakey foundation look I like a very dewy and natural finish I like to go out and make it seem as though um, I don't have anything on my face as though I'm not wearing any makeup so for me this brush is a lot better because it applies a lot less makeup it doesn't pack it on as intensely as this brush does and um, it just gives you a lighter and dewier finish than this one um, so that's the reason I like this one more if you're someone who wants a stipple brush because you want a really um, a brush that will really pack on the product for you and you like that medium to heavy coverage, the e.l.f. brush is not going to be able to do it for you. You're definitely going to have to find um, a brush that's more similar to the MAC 187. Um, if you look at the handles, the MAC one is just bigger. Um, that also accounts for the fact that there's more fibers here and you know, you're going to need a bigger handle. And um, this one is just thinner all around. The e.l.f. one overall, though, is a little bit taller than the MAC one. And I think the fibers are a little bit longer. To describe this brush, um, if you look at the brush, you cannot call this a dual fiber brush because if you look at it, um, if you really look at it, it's just all these fibers that are the same length that are dyed black for about four-fifths of the color and then left white on the tips. So that's not really dual fiber, um, but it still works really well as a stipple brush. I like to use this for my foundation, my tinted moisturizers, um, also for cream blushes and powder brushes so powder blushes sorry so um, I feel like this is a very um, multi-use brush for my MAC one I use this more for when I'm going out or I'm taking a picture like professional pictures or something where I really really want that thick coverage 
Um, or if I really just want to pack on an intense cheek color. But as a lot of people have said about this brush, um, it's a little bit on the big side. So I have a very small face compared to, um, I have a really small like petite face compared to other people so um, this brush isn't the best for me uh, when I apply cheek colors because it'll put too much um, on my face and it will end up making making it look really um, awkward and almost clownish because I have too much product on my face so that's why I usually end up um, picking up this brush to use for my um, cheek colors so overall, um, honestly, this is not a dupe for this. It's similar in the sense of what it's the tasks that it can accomplish. But um, depending on what your preference is, this brush will either be perfect for you or it will be a huge disappointment. So if you're someone who likes that very light, dewy finish like me, this brush will be very good for you. If you like something that is very thick or um, medium to heavy coverage, then you're going to want this brush because this brush will pack on the product for you. Also, you have to um, see what size your like face is. And I know that sounds like really funny, but um, if you're going to get a simple brush for your cheeks, if you have more of a petite face like me, this brush will be um, too much for your face. It'll overwhelm your face, and it will just apply too much product on your face. But the e.l.f. one will end up being perfect because it's so small, and it will just apply that perfect amount to the apples of your cheeks. So that's kind of my like review and comparison.